hi everyone welcome back to python tutorial series now we have the concept of variable and the data types let's move to the basic operations in python now we know about the data types and the variables let's start with basic operations the first one is so let's start with operations the meaning so the first operation is plus or addition so plus means addition let's say if we type 3 plus 2 then it will sum these two numbers 5 another one is subtraction so if we type 12 minus 10 it will give us back 2 then we use asterisk for multiplication if we type 4 asterisk 2 then it will give us back 8 then we use slash for division so if we type 4 slash 2 it will give us back 2 so if we use percentage it will give us modulus let's say we divide 9 by 4 then it will be 4 times 2 plus 1 4 is the divisor 2 is the quotient and 1 is the modulus So in this case, if we 9% is 4, then it will give us back 1. Similarly, double slash will give us quotient. If we do 9, sorry, 9 double slash 4, then it will give us the quotient 2 let's erase this one for exponential we use double asterisk let's say 3 double asterisk 2 which means 9 so 3 double asterisk 2 means 3 square which is 9 let's say 5 double asterisk 2 which is 5 square which is 25 so we use single asterisk for multiplication and double asterisk for exponent let's clean this one Let's go to Jupyter Notebook and see the various operations. Let's say if we assign n1 number 1 as 5 and n2 number 2 as 12 then we assign n3 is equals to n1 plus n2 so we are summing two different numbers and assigning it to the third number so if we type print n3 then it will give us 17 which is the sum of 5 and 12 so if we 
want to see the data type for N3, we'll use type N3, which is an integer. So we can do the same thing for the float. Let's say float1 is equals to 3.14 and float2 is equals to let's say 1.00 now f3 we can assign two variables in the single cell so f3 is equals to f1 plus f2 now print f3 so it will give us back the sum of numbers but with the decibels so it will give the sum with the decimals since it is a float so if we type type f3 it will give us back float because the data type for this one is float for the subtraction we use let's use the same variables let's say n4 it's equals to n2 minus n1 so print n4 so since n4 is n2 minus n1 which is 12 minus 5 which is 7 so this is how we do the subtraction let's multiply two numbers let's say n number 5 is equals to n1 multiplied by n2 and print n5 so 12 times 5 is 60 so we did the multiplication we assign the new variable n5 which is n1 times n2 and then if we print n5 then it will give us the multiplication back let's divide it mm. let's assign new numbers num1 is equals to 10 num2 is equals to 2 now num3 is equals to num1 divided by num2 now print num3 so it is 5 since 10 divided by 2 is 5 So we can use the addition, uh, we can use the, so we can also combine string and variables to create more complex messages. So we can combine the strings. For example, let's see, first name, we can add use space right, first name is equals to since it is a string, we have to use single quote or double quote. Elon. Last name. Sorry. Last name. Uh, it equals to Musk. So, if we type full name, it equals to first name plus last name and if we type print full sorry full name then it will print us elon musk so if we need a space then we can what we can do is give a space after the elon run it then run it run it run it so we can combine strings with the help of plus signs
and what we can do is print print double code thank you for watching this video So thank you for watching this video, we will catch you on the next one.